question is, um, how does one <coughs> be more active in da'wah and uh, what should one do and what means should one take? I mean, uh, first point regarding this question is that one has to be mukhlis. One has to be sincere if they want to do any type of ibadah because da'wah is ibadah and for it are two conditions. And that is that the individual must be sincere, mukhlis, has to be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking Allah's face. And secondly, it must be according to the sunnah. Mutaba'ah. Da'wah is ibadah, like salah is ibadah. And seeking ilm is ibadah. Giving zakah is ibadah. Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentions in uh, uh, one of his works uh, the, the causes of uh, division. And he says one of the causes of division is a tasaddur. A tasaddur and a riyasa. Yani wanting to be the focal point of attention and seeking position. He said this is one of the causes of division and splitting amongst this ummah. And he says that he said that it leads to the hellfire. So the individual who wants to embark <laughs> upon giving da'wah, he has to be sincere, not seeking riyasa, not seeking uh, position, status, to be remembered amongst the people as this person, for his name to be mentioned, and so forth. Rather, it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qul hadhi sabili ad'u ila Allah. Say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is my path. I call to who, ikhwan? Allah. Ala basiratin. I call to Allah. So the da'wah has to be for Allah and to Allah. It has to be for Allah and to Allah. And that's what this, the, the benefit of this verse, ikhwan. And likewise, ala basiratin. Ala basiratin. And that's the second point, that the individual has to be somebody who possesses knowledge. He has to have knowledge in that which he's calling to. Qul hadhi sabili adu ilallah ala basiratin. Upon insight, not just knowing, but having fiqh. Having that nur, that light of, of, of the ilm of this deen, this beautiful religion. So based upon that, his da'wah has to represent this beauty. This religion is beautiful, so his da'wah has to be beautiful. Which means it has to be free from shirk, free from bid'ah, innovations, free from tahazzub, uh, calling to the way of the salaf. Ana wa man ittaba'ni. Me and the one with me. So this individual that's giving da'wah, his ashab have to be upon clarity. Ma'ahu. Upon ilm. Uh, upon the knowledge of the book of Allah and the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to the understanding of our salaf those that are with you you don't say I'm giving da'wah and this person is halabi but he's my friend I give da'wah with him and this person is Turathi same thing really but uh, but he's my friend we give da'wah we're calling to Tawheed. And this person is Ma'rabi. This person is Sururi. Huh? So amongst you, man, the person at Tiba'ak, they're upon deviance. This isn't da'wah ilallah. Because Allah says the ones with you call to Allah. Calling to Allah, calling to the Quran and the Sunnah. Calling to the manhaj of the Salaf. This path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. And likewise, your da'wah begins with Tawheed. وَمَعَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ SubhanAllah وَمَعَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Free is Allah from imperfections and I'm not from the mushrikeen. This is the da'i. So he calls to Tawheed. He calls to La ilaha illallah which means he has to have basira and ilm as it relates to La ilaha illallah. The pillars of La ilaha illallah the conditions of la ilaha illallah 
the things that nullify la ilaha illallah, the thamarat, the fruits that emanate from la ilaha illallah, this has to be his da'wah. He has to have ilm with these things. Giving da'wah is mas'uliya. It's mas'uliya. Because when you give da'wah, you're saying this is what Allah revealed. It's heavy. It's thaqeel. It's not easy. It requires you to seek ilm and know that everything that you're saying is that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated. Subhana. Likewise, those that are with you, who are upon Salafiya, you work with them. You don't compete with them. You aid them and you support them according to your capabilities. Some, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed some of his ibad with good memory. Hif. Huh? It's the God. They can remember things and they can bring evidences. Allah has given some of his ibad gifts. Don't compare yourself to that person. Know your level and stick to it. And refrain from hasad. Refrain from hasad. Refrain from being jealous because it will cause division. Because it will cause division. And it is da'af in your iman in qadr. The hasid has deficiency in his iman in the decree. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave that individual what he has. It's from the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are displeased with that which is deficiency in your iman. Which means that you firru illallah. Go back to Allah. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Revise your deen. Revise your iman. Jaddid imanikum. Yeah, your ladina amanu. Amanu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, all of you who believe, believe. Yani, strengthen your iman. Revise your iman. Do you understand Tawheed? Do you understand La ilaha illallah? Have you studied the books of Tawheed? Have you studied Usul al-Thalatha? Have you studied the first line of Usul al-Thalatha? Have you studied the principles taken from Usul al-Thalatha? Quad Arba. Revise all of these. And if we study Tawheed properly, and we study Tawheed according to the way of the Salaf, the way of the Anbiya, we will not have Hasad. We will not have jealousy. Because you are not displeased fundamentally with that individual, it's with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the individual that wants to embark upon da'wah, he has to bear these things in mind. It's ibadah, ikhwan. It's worship. And if it's not according to the sunnah, and it is not sincere, it is rejected. If it is causing corruption, it's not to Allah. It's not a call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's not, da'wah is not about, this is mine. It's got nothing to do with you. Because Allah will take you and bring somebody else. It's, not, it's nothing to do with you. You need it. We need it. Because it's part of our ibadah. Not so I can say I have a place of my own. This is my place. Masjid bin Baz is mine. This place is mine. So I'm going to strive for it because it's mine. It's got nothing to do with you. You're in need of wor worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are in need of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we're the ones who need it. It's not our house. So if you want to embark upon da'wah, we have to be sincere. It has to be for Allah, not for jah, not for getting reputation, not to be known, known to be somebody who's, uh, who's knowledgeable so you can argue with the, the scholars and you can boast and you can get money. This is not our da'wah. So the fundamental thing, ya ikhwan, is al-ikhlas, al-mutaba'ah, and aiding ahl sunnah as much as you can. 
according to your ability, Allahu A'lam.